Hello and welcome to installing uh, JEdit uh, on uh, Microsoft Windows Vista. Um, so the uh, first thing that we've got to do on the Microsoft Windows before we actually can in install uh, JEdit itself is install Java. Um, Windows doesn't come with Java, uh, but it's quick and easy to install. It'll take us a little while to download it. So I'm going to go to um, www.java.com and I will select downloads downloads and um, it is already trying to install it it's uh, the Java runtime environment update 6 and the answer is of course we'll install this now we may see some uh, security pop-ups at this point So now it's starting to do the installation. We're going to click through some things. I suggest you do not install the Google Toolbar for an Explorer unless you really want it, but it's not necessary. It's just Sun trying to get some commissions off of your job, you uh, because you use Java. And they're trying to make some money because they've invested a lot in Java. And uh, here we have a little ad for openoffice.org. So this will take a while. Okay, so now Java's complete, and um, we're up and running. It's about ready to let us test to see if, uh, I think it's going to test to see if it, it's happy with our Java install. Let's give it a second to do that. Yeah, we're going to test our Java version right here. And so that looks good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to www.jadit.org, and then go to the download page. and page our way down to the uh, Windows based installer of this stable version. We look for the stable version Windows based installer and that ought to start in a moment here. Now we have a little alert bar here and so I can click here and say yep I'm ready to download this file. It's protecting us which is a good thing and so um, it's downloading. I'm going to save it and I'm going to put it on my desktop. That's I'm putting it on my desktop. Okay, and I'm just going to run it. It's it's copied it here, but I'm just going to go ahead and run it. And it's making sure. So we're going to go through the install process. Accept the license agreement. Don't change that. That sounds good. That sounds good create a desktop icon and a quick launch icon and we are going to install. I'm not going to launch JEdit so I'll just finish here and I will close this up. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this install thing. I'll put it in my recycle bin. I'll, I'll get rid of that later. I just don't want to confuse myself. This will launch the JEdit program. And uh, JEdit will come up. JEdit will come up. When it first comes up, it shows you the help, and uh, we'll only show you this once. You can always pull this help up. Um, there's quite a bit of uh, fancy, fancy stuff in JEdit. Uh, one of the things I like to do is um, add the file system browser. JEdit's pretty cool in that it allows us to customize its user interface. So this browser allows us to go into different directories, and I'm going to dock it permanently at the left side. So now what I've got is I've got the ability on the left hand side to navigate into things like my desktop and then open files and then edit the files and navigate at the same time. I'm going to do one other thing in that I'm going to change some options just for you so that it looks a little better. I'm going to change the text, uh, the text area and make it be 16 font. And so now the text area is large font. Okay, so that's basically uh, getting JEdit installed um, and getting JEdit configured a little bit. So let's do a couple uh, simple things. Let's create a file and save it. I'm going to create one called um, hello. I'm going to create one and put a little HTML and say hello 
my name is, and I'm going to put it in bold with less than, b, greater than, Chuck, slash b, period. And now I'm going to save this file by going to File, uh, Save As, and make sure I'm not doing it in JEdit, but instead, you, you can always move these little windows around a bit, uh, go into Users, CSEV, Desktop, and then I'm going to name the file down here as um, first dot htm tm and then I'm going to save it so you'll notice that this file showed up so I can edit the files on my desktop I can even make folders which I'll do in a second oh I even made a mistake now so I can say hello my name is Chuck you'll notice this little red icon indicates that it needs saving once you've saved the file once you can resave it with this little pencil icon and you'll know that the little red unsaved icon goes away at this point. So I can pop this up in Internet Explorer to actually see what this HTML looks like. And son of a gun, if there is my hello, my name is Chuck, and away I go. Okay? So I also want to show you how to make a folder. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to change this file a little bit. My name is really Chuck. And I want to save it again somewhere else. I'm going to do save as. So now here I am in my desktop. I am going to make a new folder with this little icon here. And I'm going to call my folder SI300. And so you'll notice now that SI300 shows up in my desktop. And it also shows up in this list. And I can call my file now second.htm and save it. So I've got a file first.htm and a second.htm. Now the other thing that's kind of interesting just to point out is anytime you see one of these bars you can reorganize the screen a little bit and it'll remember what you're doing. I've got my screen a little small so that it works better in a podcast um, but you can change the size of things, you can change the font it's, uh, it's very highly customizable. So um, let me just make a third file with the new icon. I'm going to create a brand new file. I'm going to call it this is a brand new file. And since I haven't saved it, I can click on the save icon and it says where do you want to save this? And I'm in my SI300 desktop and I'm just going to call this oops, SI300 folder and I'm going to call this uh, third.htm. Okay, so that's how you make a new file. Um, of course, you can open files. Um, here's a really slick thing. It remembers the files that I'm working with. And I can switch between the second file and the third file. I can even go back to desktop and open the first file. And now I've got three files going, and I can switch between them. So this is a really good feature. Now, if I want to get rid of, get, get it out of this list, now it'll tell you. Let's, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me change this a bit. Second. So it, it even tells you in this list which files you've modified and which files you haven't modified. Okay, so I'll just go back to first. You don't have to save it. It still remembers that that file was modified. So I'll, um, I'm going to close it. I just want it. It's not saved. I mean, it is first.htm is saved, so I'm going to get rid of it. So now my list only has two things. And I will save second, and I'll close it. And then I have third, and I can even close that, and it's kind of in this untitled uh, which is pretty much an empty, uh, just an empty file that I would save somewhere else. So that pretty much uh, reviews how one uh, uses JEdit, installs JEdit, installs Java. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.